Hello YouTubers, 20 years ago today, Armageddon was released in cinemas. Now this film has actually got a lot of flack over the decades, but I still fondly remember it as a child, and it was actually quite a popular film at the time. This is Michael Bay before Transformers. Sure, his films have always had the same problems, but this is back when Michael Bay was fun. This is back when Michael Bay did films like Bad Boys and The Rock. And even though this is filled with a lot of inaccuracies, it still is a fun, enjoyable film with an all-stellar cast with Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, Liv Tyler, Steve Buscemi, Michael Clark Duncan, Billy Bob Thornton, Will Fitchner, and so many others in this film. And it's funny because it was in the same year that Deep Impact came out. And both of those films were very similar. It's almost like Tombstone and Wyatt Earp, or what we know as today, Olympus Has Fallen and White House Down. You know, two films that are so similar that are coming out in the same year and in some way kind of competing with each other. But this is a disaster film. You had other films like Volcano, Dante's Peak. And this film deals with an asteroid arriving to Earth, and Earth is about to be destroyed. NASA hires a group of oil drillers to pretty much be trained as astronauts to go drill into the asteroid and basically disperse it so they could basically stop it from hitting Earth. It will just go away from Earth in different pieces. But there's so much more drama to this. And yeah, Ben Affleck brought up a point when filming this movie to Michael Bay. He's just like, would it be just easier for astronauts to learn drilling? In which Michael Bay told him, shut up. They knew about the inaccuracies and they decided to make it anyways because it was just a movie, a fun movie. And NASA actually uses this in their management programs for people to pick up inaccuracies and mistakes made with a space program. And that's just a fantastic thing. But yeah, movies, some of them are Oscar worthy. Others are fun popcorn disaster films like Armageddon. But I love the cinematography here. Michael Bay's pretty much like a Tony Scott 2.0. And yeah, this is definitely before Transformers, but it definitely has a level of heart to it. And part of that is because of the soundtrack. I love the Armageddon album. This film brought us Don't Wanna Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. And yeah, such a fantastic song. That is the best thing to come out of this movie. The soundtrack is amazing to this film. And yeah... Aerosmith, Steve Tyler found out he had a daughter, Liv Tyler, so it was very heartfelt with the romance in this film. I love the rivalry between Ben Affleck and Bruce Willis. He doesn't want Ben Affleck dating his daughter. And there's a lot of tragic scenes towards the end. It gets very heartfelt. And it's definitely an ending you don't really see coming in a movie like this. And for that, I have to give it kudos. I know not many people may be talking about this movie, but for me, it was an enjoyable film when it came out. I remember my parents took me to go see this in 1998. I even had the Wonder Balls. Anybody remembers the Nestle Wonder Balls that were basically like chocolate uh, spears? They were like chocolate balls that were like spherical. You could break pieces off. Anyway, they had one that had the wrapper, aluminum foil wrapper. It looked like an asteroid from Armageddon, and that was just so cool. And yeah, this was done by Touchstone Pictures. Bruce Willis had another project that was eventually not going to be salvageable, so he made a deal with the Disney executives at Touchstone to pretty much star in this movie. In addition, he had a contract to star in two other Touchstone films. They end up being Sixth Sense and Unbreakable. But yeah, the visuals are really out there. I like it. Even 20 years later, it still holds up. It's pretty much the precursor to stuff you see in like Day After Tomorrow, 2012, and even the Transformers superhero films now. Stuff like that. And it definitely had that level of fiction to it. You could tell it was the 90s. It had that level of cheese to it that was just so unrealistic, but you bought it anyway because, you know, it's enjoyable and it looks cool. That's what it had. Definitely had that sensibility there. And, uh... Yeah, this is the last time Bruce Willis worked with Michael Bay. He didn't like his directing style, so that's very interesting. But uh, me personally, it's better than Pearl Harbor. This is up there with like The Rock, Bad Boys, and Transformers for me. And uh, I just wanted to reflect upon this film on its 20th anniversary. For those who may not have seen Armageddon, I recommend checking it out. It's a funny, cheesy disaster movie with a little bit of heart into it. For those who have seen it, what do you think of it? What do you think of it back then compared to now? Some films don't age as much, but this film still has the same type of nice cheese to it as it did back then. Uh, but it definitely is a product of its time. It's a different type of movie. I like all the characters. I like how the astronauts have to basically deal with each other on this drill. 
they have to save Earth, and it's not like in an alien invasion way. No, it's with an asteroid, something very different. You know, this isn't asteroids like the video game. No, this is like Armageddon, and like, this is this could happen, you know? But it kind of brings a sense of false hope, like, can we really use a drill to like basically explode an asteroid and have it disperse? Is it that simple? No, so if that happens, we're ultimately doomed, but it's interesting to say the least. And this is an original film, and I like it. For any Bruce Willis, Michael Bay fans out there, definitely check this out. Young Ben Affleck, I love him and Liv Tyler together before Jersey Girl. Him and Michael Clark Duncan together before Daredevil. <laughs> Bruce Willis and Michael Clark Duncan together before Whole Nine Yards and Sin City. So yeah, definitely check out Armageddon. It's definitely a film of its time. And between the visuals, the performances, and everything... I really like it. So 20 years later, I think it still holds up and it's pretty interesting to look at this film. Even though it's not the best film ever, it's just enjoyable, you know? It's a guilty pleasure for me. So yeah, definitely check out Armageddon. Uh, I have the shirt from the 90s, Armageddon with like Nokia. Old cell phone there. But uh, yeah, I remember being in awe when I saw this in the theater. It was a different type of summer blockbuster before we had the superhero action films, you know? It was back when we had action films, and this is like the late 90s with, again, the disaster movies. So definitely uh, check it out. And it's funny how this and Deep Impact were just in competition with one another. I personally like this just a little bit more. But uh, it's interesting to see this 20 years later and how some films hold up. Ultimately, uh, I like it, and it's one of Michael Bay's better movies. We could always see now, we could see that he could get worse than this. So definitely check it out if you want to see younger Michael Bay. Reflecting on this film, it's very heartfelt, and I think I might just listen to some Aerosmith uh, in the other room, just on stereo. I'm going to listen to Aerosmith. Don't want to miss a thing. That's just a fantastic song. If anything to take away from this, Armageddon is a film of its time. Remember it, but... It brought us I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith, and that is a really damn fine thing. That's the greatest thing that came from this movie. 20 years later, it brought us an awesome song. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the film Armageddon. If you haven't checked it out, eh, you may want to check it out, but uh, go on with caution. It's not the best movie ever, but it's not the worst. Tune in next week in which I'll be having a 20th anniversary retrospective of Small Soldiers.